Hi guys, I'm Smita and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things AI and machine learning related. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you guys can go about learning machine learning in 2022, the full entire roadmap. 2022 is one of the best years that you guys can learn machine learning in. The reason why I say that is because despite everything that is happening around us, the amount of opportunities in machine learning has only increased over the past couple of years. And looking at the trajectories that we see in tech, we can expect this trend to definitely continue for the next couple of years as well. So 2022 is one of the best years for you guys to learn machine learning. So this roadmap is gonna show you exactly how you guys can get started, especially if you are beginners. But before we get started with this video, I'm really excited to share something that I've been meaning to share for a very long time. If you guys recall, back in 2021, I made a video talking about how I'm launching my own startup within the crypto space. Well, today is a day where I finally get to share the platform that I've been working on with you guys. So medicine.io is a platform where anyone can create, buy and sell NFTs in the metaverse. And creators will get to do this at a much lower cost than compared to other platforms out there. We're also going to be launching our very own crypto token, which is going to be used in order to create, buy and sell NFTs on medicine.io. And this leads me to another major announcement as well. We're holding a really massive giveaway for all of you guys. And if you guys enter this giveaway, you stand a chance of winning up to $10,000 worth of crypto. So definitely go ahead and enter this giveaway. This is such a massive giveaway. The rules for this giveaway will be in the link below in the description box below. So definitely check that out. Along with that, my team and I at medicine.io are constantly on the lookout for highly talented individuals. So if you are one of them, definitely feel free to reach out to us via the link on our website as we are planning on hiring a bunch of talented developers in the near future. And these are just some of the most major news that I have for you guys. There are a lot of things that we have planned for medicent.io and I'll be making a full dedicated video on our platform and also moving forward what exactly we have planned and also our roadmap as well. So definitely check that out when it's going to be posted. Be sure to check out the link for our website in the description box below and definitely be sure to join the giveaway as well. And without any further ado, let's get started with this video. So let's get started with the roadmap. This roadmap can take anywhere between three months to an entire year to complete depending on your pace. If you have pre-existing knowledge of linear algebra, calculus, Python, you could definitely complete this entire roadmap in three months. But on average, it should take you a six months to complete if you don't have these pre-existing knowledge. And if you want to take your time and really get your foundations right, you could even take up to a year to complete this entire roadmap. So it all depends on you and you can definitely learn at your own pace. So the first stage in the roadmap is math, more specifically probability, linear algebra, matrices, etc. Now, a lot of other roadmaps, or in fact, a lot of beginners, they might ignore this stage completely. They might just skip to maybe the machine learning course stage, but I would highly discourage that. I would definitely recommend actually starting out with math first, not only because we see a lot of interviews, a lot of technical interviews from various companies which are hiring machine learning engineers, they have started to actually ask math fundamental questions or actually ask the math behind certain machine learning algorithms. So these are very common questions in technical interviews when companies are hiring machine learning engineers. So these are skills that you definitely need to have. And whether if you're imp implementing different machine learning models in the future, it really, really helps to have this foundational math knowledge. So when it comes to learning the math for machine learning, there are so many useful resources out there. I'm sure there's a ton of different courses out there as well, 
But some of the most useful and helpful resources are actually um, books. They're actually books like The Matrix Cookbook by Carrie Brand Peterson and Michael Skykin Pedersen. So the, this book was extremely useful in teaching the fundamentals of matrices and linear algebra. So I would highly recommend this book. Another really important addition and another really important book is The Elements of Statistical Learning, Data Mining, Inference and Prediction by Trevor Hasty, Robert Tipsharani and Jerome Friedman. So this is a really well-known book already within machine learning when it comes to learning the math for machine learning. So I would highly recommend this as well. So the first stage of math can take anything between one month to one and a half months. And you guys should be looking at these two books, which are very useful. And you can do this alongside another course as well, such as a math for machine learning course. And these two together would be extremely helpful in allowing you guys to learn, you know, the very fundamentals of machine learning, such as matrices, linear algebra, etc. Now, the second stage is Python. And more specifically, we are talking about Python data structures as well. A lot of people uh, argue on this. They might think, okay, for machine learning, you don't really need to know data structures, but actually it's very important to have this foundation of Python data structures because definitely you are going to be using data structures in some form of code that you're going to be writing. So it's important that you guys know it. Obviously, you don't need to know super in-depth information that a software developer would have of data structures, but it's important that you know exactly how to use the Python language. And also, it's very important that you know how to use important libraries for machine learning, such as Pandas, NumPy, Scikit-learn, Matplotlib, and also Seaborn, etc. There are so many libraries out there, but these are some of the most basic ones when it comes to machine learning. The third stage is doing a really basic machine learning course. Now you can start off with Google's crash course for machine learning, or there's a ton of other basic machine learning courses out there, especially on Coursera, etc. The reason why I recommend the Google machine learning crash course is because it actually introduces you to a lot of terminology, which is used throughout machine learning. So what is overfitting? What is underfitting? these type of terminologies that you, you'll actually get to learn this, you know, learn what are these terminologies, learn definitions for various machine learning uh, things within this uh, crash course. So I highly, highly recommend this one. And once you're done with this crash course, you can actually go ahead and start with a much more in-depth machine learning course which goes into in-depth about the different type of machine learning algorithms, etc. So one of the most famous one is obviously the machine learning course by Andrew Ng on Coursera. I'll link it. I'll link all of these links to all of the books and courses in the description box below. It's actually going to be a roadmap on my GitHub. So once you actually open that link, you'll see an entire document where you can actually, you know, as you are going through the stages, you can definitely refer to this document. So it's going to be very useful. And I'll be linking all of this in the description box below. So Andrew Young's course, that's a really popular, you know, in-depth machine learning course that you guys can start off with. But obviously a lot of people would find that not that beginner friendly. It might be a bit too technical, a bit too math intensive. But if you have followed the first stage of, you know, doing all of your math, you know, building your foundations, I think the Andrew Ng course would actually be very helpful. You would definitely be able to catch up with what is happening in that course if you did the prerequisites, if you did the first stage. Now, if you do find that Andrew Young's machine learning course is not really that useful for you, or you want to look at other alternatives, there are definitely a ton of different courses out there, which are still really, really helpful. So I'll be linking a lot of these other alternatives to this course in the roadmap as well. So you guys can check that out. Now, once you're done with stage three, we'll be moving on to stage four, which is looking at more advanced machine learning. Uh, topics and you know delving deeper into more advanced uh, machine learning. Now for this stage, I actually highly recommend this book called Interpretable Machine Learning by Christoph Molnar. Now this book 
it goes really in depth. It also explains a bunch of different machine learning algorithms really, really well. And it also goes into the math behind them as well. And not only does it go into the math behind these machine learning models and algorithms, it also states the different advantages and disadvantages. So in which scenarios would you want to use this particular machine learning algorithm and in which other scenarios maybe another type of algorithm is much better at. So I would highly recommend this book for anyone who is really interested in you know doing machine learning and learning machine learning i would highly recommend this book it goes really in depth and i definitely think that any machine learning engineer out there definitely has to give this book a read the fifth stage is deep learning now deep learning is extremely important because a lot of tech companies which are working on machine learning related products they definitely use deep learning as well especially in fields like computer vision, etc. So it's definitely an important thing to learn if you're planning on learning machine learning. So that's why I've included this in stage five. Now, there are a ton of different courses for deep learning, especially on Coursera, etc. Uh, but I'm actually going to be recommending a book. One thing that you guys must have noticed by now, if you watch till this part of the video, you would definitely have noticed that compared to my last roadmap in 2021, which essentially involved a lot of courses. In this roadmap, I'm only recommending books simply because I still recommend those courses, but these books are also very useful and you know, they definitely go along with the courses that I've recommended in the previous roadmap. So this is an, actually an online book. It's called Dive Into Deep Learning. And it goes into a lot of different concepts such as linear neural networks, multi-layer perceptrons, uh, convolutional neural networks, etc. So this is very useful. And also towards the end of the book, you get to look at more practical examples such as natural language processing and computer vision. So this is a useful book and this goes really well with some deep learning courses as well. All of these will be linked in the machine learning roadmap, which I'll be linking in the description box below. And after you've finished all five stages, you have reached stage six, which is essentially projects. Now, even after you, you have learned all of this knowledge from stage one to five, it's extremely important to do projects because it's only through working on different machine learning projects or deep learning projects, do you actually truly get to test your knowledge and also learn a lot more. So this is a really open-ended step. You know, there is no end to this step. You will be working on projects essentially however long you would want to. And for this step, you can definitely uh, watch a lot of other videos on my channel where I have looked into machine learning projects or I have built machine learning projects and you can follow along. You can also check out my GitHub, which has a bunch of useful resources for machine learning projects as well. And obviously there's other resources out there for machine learning projects. It's all up to you. Kaggle is a really good resource, especially for this, not just for machine learning projects, but because it has such a large uh, set of data sets. You can de definitely make use of any type of data set on Kaggle and come up with your own ML project. So that's a great way of going about it as well. The projects that you do on stage six can really help to boost your portfolio. So if your goal at the end of this machine learning roadmap is to you know, start a career in machine learning, get hired as a machine learning engineer, I would definitely highly recommend that you really carefully pick the projects that you want to work on and try to not have maybe a lot of various different projects, but have a couple of few projects, but go really in depth. So in this aspect, it would definitely help to have quality over quantity, especially if you are planning on, you know, trying to get hired as a machine learning engineer and showcasing these projects. So guys, that was it for the roadmap for learning machine learning in 2022. Let me know what you guys thought about this in the description box below and if you found this easy to follow along. And also let me know if you will be following along with this roadmap in 2022. Be sure to also check out the ongoing challenge on my channel, 100 Days of ML, where I post 
a bunch of different content on machine learning. So that is also going to be extremely useful for you guys to learn machine learning. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.